Big dog walking through. How's it feel to be the MP? YouTube star turned collegiate legend. Yeah, honestly. I feel great, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, does it feel as great as you thought it was gonna feel when I caught you practicing taking down the net with your little step stool? With that oh, you just never gonna let me forget that story, huh, bro? <laughs> nah, man. Hey, you know what? I respect that. Hey, 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 for real though. You been thinking at all about next steps? Bro, always. That's what I'm talking about. So where's your head at? Because, you know, I got a million ideas about how we could leverage where we're at now, but, you know, I want to know what you're thinking before I push the button on anything. Hey, so real talk, what you think about Chris Brickley? I mean, he cool. Got a lot of great connections. I mean, I heard good things about his workouts. Cool. Because I'm thinking about training with him, you know, get my draft stack up a bit, you know, get in the competition. Yeah, I mean, that's an option. But it could hurt your draft stock, too. I mean, if you're not playing at the top of your game. You trying to say, bro, go snitch on me if I'm not good? <laughs> like, I know you kidding, man. But... No, I'm not kidding. I'm being serious. I mean, word does get around, bro. Look, I know you think you're going to kill whatever workout he throws at you, but I just want you to know it goes both ways. I think you should just know what you're getting into before you commit. I hear you. Okay. Honestly, I'm thinking about the draft, bro. Like, the NBA is right around the corner. I can taste it. As you should be. You're a lotto pick. Easy. So this is the decision you would make if you was me? I can't tell if you're joking, bro, but yes. You have a chance to be a lotto pick in the NBA. That's going to make all of our dreams a lot easier to realize. No doubt about that. Yeah, buddy. Let's do it. Hey, so what you think? What do I think? I, I can't believe this, bro. Hey, bro, you've been gassing me ever since we was in kindergarten, and you can't believe this? Look, I'm just saying, man, this is huge. This is the NBA, Yo. bro, and it's, it's like for real, really, for real. Hey, your boy, is it really happening? Man, shut up, bro. <laughs> hey, yo. All right, so what's next, Mr. Manager? What we doing? Next? Next, I, I, I got a lot to do. But I'm gonna need a minute to set everything up. So why don't you just come back in a little bit and we can talk details. All right, so what should I do in the meantime? Don't get hurt. Funny guy. No, 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 no. I'm not playing, MP. If I catch you skateboarding, we gonna have some problems. All right, Mom. I'll be home before the lights are out, too, so I don't get grounded, okay? <laughs> You're so funny, bro. Yo, yo, you ready to talk agents, bro? Are right, you ready, Rick? I'm excited to see what you got, man. You've been over there working like a dog in your little corner. Hey, do you know how many NBA agents there are? I had to do so much research, bro. Okay, so who's the front runner? Who are we looking at? All right, well, I've narrowed it down to two, and we are looking at Palmer Athletics Agency. PAA, right? Yep. Yeah. And Barry and Associates. Hey, there he is. How you doing? What's <laughs> How up, you doing, bro? I'm good. It's great to finally meet you in person, MP. How I'm doing? Kristen. Kristen. Diane. Diane, nice to meet you all. No, the pleasure's ours. Can we get you anything? Uh, coffee, LaCroix? I'm good. Uh, yeah, you know, I think we're ready to just jump in. Great. Good. So, like I said on the phone, right now we are currently in our home stretch, at least as far as finalizing agencies right. goes. The missing puzzle piece for me is really just what each team's vision is for MP. Like, I just want to make sure that what you see for him lines up with what we see for him. Hey, look, Di Kristen, I just want to know what y'all bringing that we don't have. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, well, those are both very reasonable concerns. When it comes to vision, the good news is this is a science, not mm. an art. The very idea of a superstar athlete was invented inside these walls. True. It's what we do. <laughs> it's a, in our DNA. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I do have a question, though. Of course. Well, MP and I, you know, we like to think of ourselves as people that do things kind of differently, mm -hmm. or outside the norm. Yeah. Can either of you guys speak to that? Do you mind? Yeah, go ahead. Any idea how many female heads of sports agencies there are? Uh, no. Nah. One. And you're looking at her. <laughs> so if anybody understands doing things outside the norm, it's us. If anybody knows how to get what they want, regardless of how many people try to tell them no, that's us. When it comes to gender equality, the sports business is stuck in the Stone Age and we rose to the top because we refused to let anybody else's idea of who or what we should be define us. And that is what we want for you. How many, how many female reps are there repping NBA players right now? I don't have an exact number, but they could all fit in this room. You guys get the point. Okay. You live up to your potential on the court, and there is not a single vision you have for yourself that we can't make a reality. Whew. Kristen will be here for you in the day-to-day, -day, and I am always here if you need me. And all you have to do is ball. <laughs> That's not bad. How you feeling, big guy? Yeah, like Ricky was saying earlier, so it's mm -hmm. down to you all and another agency, uh, right. Barry and Associates. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to put y'all on the spot, but why should we choose y'all versus them? 
you guys ever hear of Bay State Law School? I knew that they had a basketball team named Bay State. I've never heard of a law school, no. Okay, well, I, I went to Bay State Law School. <laughs> oh, Chris, <it> <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. Bay State's a, a decent law school. I, I'd say it's, it's pretty good even. It is. It is, it is, but it's not Harvard. Okay. And it's not Yale. And because of that, it took me much longer to get where I wanted to go in my career than it would have otherwise. You know, I didn't have access to the same connections those blue blood types did. My dad's a mailman from Queens, not some investment banker from Manhattan. So I had to wait my turn. But you, MP, you're a blue chip prospect. And you don't have to go to Bay State. And you don't have to wait your turn. So Barry and Associates, those guys are fine. <clears throat> They're incredible, actually. If you want to quit basketball and start a music career. <laughs> but in this world, the world of elite professional athletes, they can't compete. We're Harvard and they're Bay State. <laughs> now, you don't have to like the game, but you do have to play it. And we play it better than anyone. So how are you feeling? Well, it's been great getting to know you, too. Uh, you've yep. definitely given me a lot to That's think great. about. Well, Thank you. The pleasure's Thank all you. ours. And look, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to actually stay behind with them and just drill out some finer detail points. But I'll catch up with you, man. Have a good day. Have a good one, ladies. Take care. Yeah. He's got crazy engagement on his oh, YouTube. Oh, it's been growing every day. Pe yeah, people are commenting. They just, uh, he's just got this natural kind of. What's going you know, on, it's guys? Just the MP oh, it's MP. Hey, How are you doing? Here he goes. What you doing, Charles? Good to see you, MP. Am I interrupting something? Y'all sound like y'all having a good conversation. Nah, <laughs> Definitely good. Man, I, I, I was just telling him about an album launch party I was at with the weekend on Perry. Words? Wild, man. Oh. Yeah, it's a long story. But, uh, you know, I know you're a busy man. We should just get into it. Yeah, let's get into it. I'm, I'm excited to hear what you got to say. Oh, you just gonna represent yourself now, all right? Now, now, if that's what we're doing. Come on, shut up, stuck in <laughs> My bad, sorry about my fault. You, you guys ready for, to hear my pitch? Yes. Please, <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I'd like to tell you guys two things you know, two things you don't know. Yeah? All right, let's start with what you know. You're a remarkable talent. Someone with a chance to do something very special in the league. With you so far. Second, and most importantly, uh, or I should say, doing large part to your boy Ricky over here. Mm, you've got a very large, very quantifiable, and therefore very monetizable fan base. And they'll hang on your every word whether or not you ever step foot on an NBA court. Hey, did you know that this dude didn't even want to start a YouTube page? Right. Like, no, no, in the beginning, wow. it was like pulling teeth with it. Yeah, well, listen, let's, let's talk about what you don't know. First, you have the potential to make more money off the court than any player in the history of the NBA. Second, and most importantly, you can accomplish this outside of a larger corporate structure answering only to yourselves, your vision. I'm not gonna lie, that all sounds great, Charles. What you think, MP? Where's your head at? Okay, so right now it's down to you guys and PAA. Okay, okay. So why are you a better fit than them? Who are you working with over there? Uh, uh, Kristen Kelleher and Diane Palmer. Yeah. Uh -huh. They're very accomplished and respected, and for good reason. But you know what they do over there is more of a traditional corporate vibe. I mean, it's everything you'd expect a top sports agency to be. Which is, it's good and bad. Good and what do you what do you mean by that? Bad. Well, you know, they uh, they never tell you what I'm going to tell you, which is that you can have an incredibly lucrative career whether or not you ever step foot on an NBA court. Now, uh, Diane had a heart attack if she heard me say that. <laughs> For them, it's NBA or bust. Right, but they don't know how to carve out the type of career that you and Ricky see for yourselves. Mm. That all starts with Barbara. Barbara, yes, where is she? You know, I thought she was gonna be here today. Yeah, she had a last minute thing. She sends her apologies. We can live with that, that's cool, that's cool. You guys know her story? Uh, a little bit, I'm not too familiar with it, though. No. Well, I'll keep it short. She got her start in a girl group. You guys know SV3? Sure, no. You know, so it's the typical boy band, girl group thing. Okay, you know, yeah, label yeah, finds yeah. a four-pack of talented singers, tosses them together, marketing finds their look, and, you know, off they go. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I mean, until they're not popular anymore, and then they get dropped. Mm. So you do know the story. Well, I mean, he said he didn't know. I always do my research. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, after the whole SV, SV3 thing, Barbara, she just decided she was going to define her career. Nobody else. So she pivoted, you know, went behind the boards, became one of the most in-demand producers in the game. 
I mean, she's got like what, 20 number one singles up to her name? That's right. That's dope. Yo, that, that story's dope. And you knowing it? Becky. <laughs> Barbara's a genius, man. I mean, we're here for a reason. Yeah, like Ricky said, Barbara's a visionary. But music wasn't enough, you know? She got restless. She decided, hey, why not become one of the world's top entertainment agents? And she became enamored with this new breed of athlete that isn't content to just shut up and dribble. <laughs> yeah. Listen, anybody can get you a meeting with Nike MP. Okay. Just be good at basketball. Nike will find you. But what you might not get at PAA, or at least not nearly as soon, are all the other things that we talked about. Now, those are the things that are going to set you apart. And we excel at those things. We can help you get there. What are we thinking? You know, Charles, Ricky and I, we, we always talking about using sports to set up other stuff. My, my music, my fashion, mm -hmm. like that's the type of mm -hmm. career I see for myself, man. Just groundbreaking as a new athlete. That's what I want. So do we have a deal? Hey, you know what, Charles? Man, we got a deal. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up. That's we cool. got a deal, man. That's what's up. So what are we doing? How do, what, what happens next? Well, look, man, I'm going to hang back with Ricky. We'll hash out some details. Cool. You know, go do you, man. Go work out, hey, watch look, film, whatever these superstars do. It's a pleasure. I'm looking forward to working with you, man. Ricky, I can't Oh, yeah, we're going to do some big Great. things, MP. Charles, it ain't over, man. It's just getting started. Nah, we just getting started, my <laughs> friend. So let's talk, Charles. What kind of percentages we looking at? Oh, well, listen, man, I got some branding ideas. Hey, look, I know we wanted to keep your draft party low-key, but you don't have to look like you at a funeral, bro. Mm, not funeral, exactly. I'm, I'm getting more of a dentist, waiting room vibe. <laughs> Yo, I can actually see that. <laughs> yeah, you know, doesn't want to be there. Bro, but bro, bro, we get best. it. Y'all got jokes. We get it, man. <laughs> hey, man, look, we just trying to loosen you up, yeah, bro. Yeah, man. I'm good. I'm good, man. This is, this is an eerie feeling, bro. This is the biggest day of my life. And we just sitting in my apartment like this is just some other day. It's not, bro. My whole life's about to change. Are y'all not understanding that? Oh, hold on. Mr. Lesser, sir, how are you? Yeah, I got him right here. One sec. MP, Harvey Lesser here. Congratulations. You're the newest member of the Detroit Pistons. Thank you so much, sir. Mr. Lesser, it's an honor, man. Happy to hear that. Now go celebrate. We get to work soon. Absolutely, sir. Thank you. With the first pick in the NBA draft, the Detroit Pistons select MP. I'm in the NBA. That's the basketball league, because you know those guys are pretty good, right? I'm in the NBA! You in the NBA! I'm in the NBA, oh, baby! Yeah. Ah. Ah. Let's go! Ah. Congrats, MP. Your whole world's about to change. Hey, yo, hold on, hold on. You, Everybody man. get together. We got to get a picture for the hey, yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, look cool, Charles. Hey, low blow. Let's go. Hey, three. Ah! All right, what hold on, that look hold on. Like? What that look no, no, no. We got to take it again. Charles, look cool, hey, man. He's always cool, a liar like that. No, 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 come on, come on, come on. Come on. Percent more man, cool. Come you on. got this. Go, go, go. Three, two. What's going on, Charles? Listen, man, we need to talk about something. Why you look so pressed? Am I in trouble? I wouldn't call it trouble exactly. Watch this. I have one issue that I need to address like the numbers on the house. And that issue is MP. Let's talk about MP. I'm hearing his coach isn't a fan. Thinks he's more into fame than actually hooping. And I gotta say, I agree, wholeheartedly. You hear, you ever hear of an NBA player with a YouTube channel? Michael Jordan didn't have no YouTube channel. LeBron James don't have no YouTube channel. Let's get serious here, people. I'd be shocked if MP starts a game this year. This coach isn't a starstruck. He's going to make MP earn every single minute, as it should be. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. All eyes are on MP now. Is he gonna fold under the pressure? If I'm Harvey Lesser, the GM who overruled his coach, I'm up at night sweating all over this. Good luck, Mr. Lesser. You and MP are gonna need. It's not making sense, coach. We've been cool. He's been treating me fair. 
And plus, he wouldn't publicly antagonize me. You know what I'm saying? He's been around a minute. Coach know how to keep this on lock? Listen, it might be a while before you get some serious playing time. Okay, there's a lot of egos involved here, and Coach is not the type to back down. Charles, you trying to tell me I'm not about to be playing because I'm on YouTube? That's crazy, bro. I'm less sure that that's the real issue, but for whatever reason, he's not your biggest fan. Front offices aren't always 100% and, alive. And, and, and what's a while before real time? You got options, okay? Starting with being the good soldier. Show up to practice early. You stay late. You listen to what coach is asking of you, and you deliver. What's the other option? Go to Harvey Direct. Let him know that you're not being utilized. Or go public. I mean, every choice has pros and cons. It just depends on how you want to steer the narrative. You mentioned going public. What'd that look like? I actually think that's a good option for you. Oh, this is your favorite one, huh? It's not my favorite per se, but it does suit you in a lot of ways. I mean, you're a massive young talent. You're being held back by someone who is letting their personal feelings get in the way of doing what's right. Yeah. Now, I'm just getting to know you, but that doesn't seem like something you'd be silent about. Oh, uh, no, you're right. OK, so what's the strategy? We going to media tour? Take the socials, you know? A tweet saying you should play more, and then we just let the machine do what it does. Let the machine do what it do. Hey, you got a wild streak, Charles. I, I like that. Well, you know, nothing brings things to a head faster than controversy. Controversy. What's good for the media machine is not what's good for ownership. Now, ownership's going to want to know why that young, high prospect is not getting playing time because his coach has a score to settle. Now, you might get branded in a certain way, but if you want to move things quick, there's no better option than a general public nudge. Look, this is not sitting right with me. I got to take a back seat because this dude and his feelings because he's not getting his way. Look, I'm a ball player. I ball. Then take it public. Just dig in with Ricky and find something good. Come on, you guys are old pros at the social game. Yeah, you're right. For Just sure. Find something that says that you should play more and then hit that little hard icon. You'll see how quickly it becomes something coach has to deal with. Uh, uh. Uh, MP in the place to be, uh, hanging with me and a bumble. Uh, ah, nah, no, come on, bro. Finish that bar. What you, what you doing? <laughs> nah, I can't even come up with that stuff like you do off the top of the head. Nah, I, I do it the same way you do, except what? Way, way better. better. All right, look, what I lack in bars, I make up for in charm, business acumen, and obviously extreme physical attractiveness. Just humble look at God, me. humble God, humble <laughs> look, God. Look, I know we playing around, man, but look, people are really talking about you, like more and more and more. And when they're doing it, they're talking about your music, not even the ball. Like you really connected the two in their minds. All right, so where does your charm come in, bro? Right here, because I made a call, did a little sweet talking, and booked you some studio time to record your first track. <sighs> Yo, stop playing. Are you serious? For real, man. Look, I'm gonna send you the details right now, and whenever you're ready, you just head down there and do your Yo. thing. Mm, mm, ah. Let's go. Yo, G, it's, it's all happening, B. I mean, did you ever doubt it? Not really. That's my guy. Yo, and yo, write that line down. Bumblebee, I gotta, I gotta use that. Man, get out of here before I call my connect and tell them that you changed your mind. Uh, and plead in a place to be. They about to go crazy! <laughs> Ooh, yo, this place is legit, Rick. Man, come on, you know I couldn't have you recording in some podcaster's attic. Oh, look, on my dad's studio. <laughs> yo, that spot never had the right acoustics. Like, I just don't know what your pops had against putting stuff on the walls. Hey, look, man, an uncluttered space is an uncluttered mind. <laughs> Whatever, hey, man. Look, hey. you need anything before we get started? You know, my boy's kind of doing us a favor, so we don't have much time. No, I'm good. Let's go, bro. All right, Tony, roll the track. Oh, this is Tony, the sound guy. Hey, what's up, Tony? I didn't even see you, bro. My bad. How you doing? It, it, he a little hands-off. You know, he just want the artist to work. Okay, but yeah. Yeah, whenever you're ready, man. It's all you. Whooping in the clouds, wings above owls. The scientist of style, mixing up the vials. It's funny, bro. You. Respect the technique of your chef with wet feet. Shoot it from anywhere, no stopping the step three. We talking them jet skis, no game without me. If LA get cloudy, then my talent's at South Beach. Yeah, we all do it for our mothers. Burn the hoop down, smell it like burning rubber. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, yo, you get all that, Tony? Yeah, you got that. Hey, you want to keep going? Yeah, come on, man, let's do it. Man, drop that beat, Tony. MP, just the man I wanted to see. What's going on, Paul? Greg, 
Greg, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Your manager sent me your track. Total banger. Oh, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. I'd be happy to add it to our streaming service, but I'm hoping you could help us out in return. Yeah, what you got in mind? Uh, nothing major. Just wear one of our t-shirts around the city. Just give us a little publicity. Hey, I'd love to, man. Really? <laughs> That's awesome. We'll add your song to the Rap Daily playlist once you do your thing in the city. Hey, good looking at it. I appreciate it. <laughs> Don't mention it. Happy to help. Hey, look, I like you, Jackson. Have a good one. Hey, man, do you work here? Can I help you? Yeah, yeah. Are you in charge of the music that's playing? Of the music? You're gonna have to be more specific. Yeah, of what music you play in the store. Look, I'm trying to build up some hype around this track I just recorded, and it, it'd be great if you play it in here, man. And I know you got a lot of influential customers. Oh. Yes. Well, here at Eric's Vinyl, we're known for our highly curated playlists. We don't do promos. We do art. Hold on, hold on. You haven't even heard the track, bro. I can tell just by looking at you that you're not a serious musician. How can you tell that, Chief? Intuition. Mm. Tell you what. Prove to me that you're a serious fan of music, and I'll put your track on our playlist for a week. Okay, how do I do that? By answering a diabolical set of trivia questions, the likes of which have never been seen. Well, let's do it, Point Dexter. Is that a reference to Buster Point Dexter, a.k.a. David Johansson of the New York Dolls? I may have underestimated. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, come on, let's, let's just do it. Which group included the members Eric Wright, O'Shea Jackson, and Andre Young? Ha, <laughs> easy, NWA. I've underestimated you. Who won the first Grammy for Best Rap Performance in 1989? DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, come on. Correct. RZA from the Wu-Tang Clan sampled what cartoon theme on Enter the Wu-Tang? Gotta be underdog. That is correct. I am perplexed and mortified that you were able to answer my trivia with such ease, <laughs> but... I am a man of my word. Your track will be added to our playlist for a term of no greater than one week. They look all I'm asking for. Yes, I well, appreciate you. Good day, then. Well, it was a long road here, but we have finally made it to the NBA. Let's hoop! Let's hoop! Okay, I'm not, you ain't going nowhere. I'm about to clamp you, Zach. Where are you going? Where are you going? All over it. All over it. Let's go. All right, let's see if we can score. Oh, they got the board. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. No points. No points. All right, I'm on you, DeRozan. Okay. Yes, that goes in. Right, these guys are not giving me a lot of offensive touches. Let's just get some stops. Let's get some stops. I'm there. I'm there. Nope. Nothing easy. No. Come on, ref. Let's go. Can we... Are you kidding me? I can't dribble on him either? No, nah, this is crazy, bro. This is ridiculous. Let's see if the computer can do something. Oh, let's go. If somebody created something. Oh, my goodness. I guess it's like this every year when 2K comes out. No way can you create any space. This is Zach Levine. He don't even play defense. I shouldn't need a screen, but I'm a call for one. Oh, my goodness. Can I do something with the switch? Oh, he, oh, I lost it. I don't care if it's a late it went in the bucket. Even as a pro, we're going to use the same strat we had in college. Give me a screen. Oh, this is crazy. Please score. Let's go. These big men are making me pick up my dribble. This is absolutely ridiculous. I can be barely beat anyone off the dribble, apparently. Let's, let's get a stop to end the quarter. Let's end the quarter on a positive note. Get one stop, guys. Come on. Boy, ain't no way, boy. All right, there we go. Wasn't the greatest quarter. Wasn't the greatest first quarter in a career. Down 11, but again, we're on Detroit. We just gonna have to we have to work harder for buckets in the second half, and you know what I'm saying in future games because this is tough. All right, we are absolutely getting our pockets red. No easy buckets. Can we? But okay, we can't get a board though, so it don't even matter if we got that stop. We can't get a board. Down 25. Oh my God! Can I score on him? Oh my God! 
Are you serious? Bro, Caruso ain't like that. Alright, bro. Alright, bro. You're right, they got a good one. Thanks. Help me with a screen. Oh, oh my goodness, I can do nothing! As you can tell from my stat line, I have been a complete non-factor in this. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, let's just, I'm not, I, I refuse. Whatever. Well, we just got beat down. I had one of the worst games I've ever, I will ever have in my career. We'll never have a game as bad again. Promise you. Oh my goodness. Hi there, Frank Valentine here. Hey, it looked like you were out of your depth tonight. Now, does this validate the concerns about you on draft night? How you doing, Frank? Um, are you serious with that question? I mean, it was one game. Everybody has an off night, and that just goes to show that even before I got here, a lot of folks made up their mind about me just because I had a YouTube channel. But you know what? That's fine. <laughs> You're going to get plenty of opportunities to see me play, and they won't like that at all. But what if they do? They won't. Yeah, but so how do you know? How do you make sure? I'm going to play better than I did next game, Frank. You'll see. <laughs> well, I sure hope so, uh, at least for your sake. <sighs> just got off the phone with your agents, and they filled me in on the plan. Cool. What you think? It's right up our alley. <sighs> I'm going to be honest with you, man. I was having second thoughts when I was on my way over here. But no, 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 this will be exactly what you need. Plus, I got the perfect tweet for you to like. Check it out. Let me see. All right, it's sent. Hey, yo, that message was kind of wild. Are we doing too much? What? No, no. Look, you liking a tweet saying that you love your teammates ain't news. This is news. Man, I don't know, bro. I'm getting cold feet now. Huh?